Hi everyone, this is Artie the Vintage Stitcher. So this is a new angle for me. <laughs> I am testing out um, some of the new equipment that was purchased for me. Um, so some of it's still coming in, some of it has come in already and um, we are going to practice. So I've already shot this video <laughs> and then went to replay it and um, there was no sound. So how fun is that? <laughs> <laughs> so the angle might be a little bit different the lighting might be a little bit off so bear with me we are all going this is all going to be a whole new learning curve for me um, I am really hoping to advance some of my videos and give you better content and give you different angles and that sort of stuff so I have spent all weekend like cleaning house cleaning and organizing and I'm sure everybody is in the same boat it is the week before Christmas um, my Christmas crafting has pretty much come to a screeching halt. There is no more Christmas crafting that I am going to get done before Christmas for gifts or for craft shows or anything else that I can possibly get done. Um, I needed to get my craft room in order. I needed to get it organized. I needed to get, pull it together for the new year. I need to get a plan together for what I'm going to do for you guys and what I'm gonna do, I, I just gotta get it together. My house is, my, my two rooms are a disaster. Um, so what you see behind me is my mother-in-law's room right now, and all the Christmas gifts are wrapped and put in there, um, which is fine. And then what I'm gonna show you, since my room is clean, <laughs> and that doesn't happen very often, I thought I'd give you a quick um, craft room tour. Does not happen very often, usually, it gets cleaned and then it turns into a hot mess 10 minutes later because I get it organized and then I jump right into something else. And so with it being Christmas week, I'm just kind of like slow rolling things. Um, I have some plans and stuff like that, but it's going to be more of a project organizing week <clears throat> so that when my new equipment comes in, I can video a lot of things and have stuff ready for you guys so that I can take you along with me on this new adventure. All right. So... Here we go. We're going to go in. Um, like I said, hopefully the lighting's not too bad. I might be switching hands here a little bit. Um, it might be a little shaky. Bear with me. So we are. I'm going to switch this around, the camera around, and we're going to go in. So when you walk in, it's just a normal bedroom. I'm going to flip on the light here. Just a normal room. Just a bedroom. Um, after the first of the year, I am going to be switching into the room that you had seen behind me. Um, it is a smaller room, but I will have more space because right now, as you can see, I have a bed in this room. And my mother-in-law will be moving into this room because it's a little bit roomier and she has a recliner and a larger TV and that sort of thing. That um, She just needs a little bit more room and it's got a bigger closet, that sort of thing. So I will be moving into the other room, but there will be no bed in that room. So I will have a little bit more floor space than I, you know, because of the bed. So when you walk in this room, um, you'll see that I have a bed in here. And on the bed is just some extra inventory from my craft shows. Um, my kids have been kind of picking through it, taking what they want. Some of the things have gone up in my house. Some things have gone for gifts. Um, and there's some last minute Christmas gift stuff in there. Um, but I'm pretty much cleared out. I'm pretty happy with, you know, that I don't have a ton of left, leftover inventory. Some things I really like, some things are going to go out after Christmas because they're snowmen. So, um, you're not going to see a whole lot of fancy stuff on my walls because this is pretty much where all the things that I don't want to put in the attic of the house, um, get stored so I kind of just put them in here so they're kind of just all in here and um, if there's a nail on the on the wall I just kind of hang it up so um, they kind of just hang out in here waiting to be brought into the main house like my hometown is going to go out into the main house after after the holidays it will go out out and be displayed so um, so when you walk in I have this little table here and has a basket on top of it this is where I keep um, my projects that need to be FFO'd. So all those projects that Candy had sent to me and projects that I have that need to be FFO'd are all kind of here. So those are priority projects, okay? 
So those all sit there. Projects that are kitted and ready to go, like the ones I showed you from Annie's. Those are here. We're waiting on equipment, and then um, those will get work done. Um, I have a shawl in there that needs to just, I need to just bind it off. <laughs> and I needed to get my butt together and get that done. So that's in there. Um, I also just keep all my pre-cuts in here. My jelly rolls. My bags of like pre-cut fabrics. This is a quilt in the making. All um, my project squares. Or all my pre-cut squares, my charm packs and stuff. All that's in here too. This way if I sit down and sew, I can just grab something and sit down and do it. So this is where I keep all my projects that are like ready to go. I'm ready to work on these and I can sit down at a moment's notice and pick those up and do that. Um, under the table, I have a, a container. I'm going to move this. And this is my giveaway basket for you guys. So I keep it all in here. See, there's all sorts of stuff in there. I'm going to be going through that because we did reach 5,000 subscribers. Yay. Thank you guys. And if you're loving this video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. So that's where I keep my giveaway stuff. Um, I'm going to be adding to that because if you've been watching lately, we I've gotten tons and tons of stuff from you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, this is I keep my basket here. This is all projects that are kitted. They are not started. They're not whips. They are kitted and ready to go. So when I finish a project, I usually go here first and I grab something out of here. I do have, well, see, I do have a couple things that are started. Like Cindy had sent a couple things that needed just a few little finishing touches. So like this one, I pulled the green so I can finish the leaves on it. I have my Santa projects in here. I'm going to go through this basket. That's going to be a separate video. Um, but most of it is just kitted projects. It's not, it's not whips. So it's kitted projects that have good intentions of doing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come over here. I got to slide this table out so I can get in here and show you what's in this dresser. Um, kind of on the floor here are my frames, my ring light, my extra sewing machine. Yes, I have more than one sewing machine. In this dresser here, this top drawer, I have some quilt blocks, some embroidered quilt blocks, and some quilt blocks that my mom embroidered me that I need to get into a quilt. They kind of keep them in here so that they stay dry and out of the sunlight. This drawer is my um, Adas and Linens. These are my Average to large size pieces that I could definitely like do a large size piece, a large, you know, a large project with to, or to average, you know, they're above, they're, they're pieces that are above like an eight by 10. So, and then I come down here, next one down. Don't judge guys when you see this one. <laughs> this is my yardage. Um, this one, this piece was just gifted to me. I think that was by Candy. And then this is, I think I told you a while back, I found a, a, a quilt store that had was clearance and out the Moda linen. So these are my large, large pieces of, they're five, seven, eight yard pieces of linen that I have um, that I will use to dye fabric or use for super large pieces or when the um, zombie uprising happens and I have to hunker down and never come out of my house, I will be set to go. Um, so there's that. And then down here is my smalls for my small pieces. Um, and this is for, this is the pieces that I pulled for my Christmas ornament challenge. Remember, those are the pieces that are too big to throw away, but too small for really any huge project. So you would do them for ornaments or smalls or pillows or little stuff. Um, this is all of that. So I have those all separated into little bags, some extra towels, that sort of thing. Um, and I didn't realize how much I still had left. So um, I've got a challenge coming up in my brain. So we're going to have to work on a challenge again. The Christmas ornament challenge was huge. I, it was so worth it. I thought it was out of fabric. 
um, but I'm not. So we're going to work on that. So there is that drawer. Coming up, I do have one drawer with scrapbooking stuff in it. I'm not a huge scrapbooker, but I do have, I do love the papers. So I have some scrapbooking tablets in here. I have my whole punches in here so I can make some floss drops and some fun stuff. And I do like to um, decoupage onto things and that sort of thing. So this is my scrapbooking paper drawer. So that's all kind of neat and tidy for today. So that is what is in this dresser. Coming around, <clears throat> this is my work table. And it's just one of those little like five foot tables. It folds up. So like if I need it for anything, it gets used a lot. It gets used all over the place. I drag it outside. I'm sure if you watch any of my summer videos, you've seen it. I, I pull it outside. I sit at it outside. I bring it in the living room. I use it. We use it all over the place. Um, if it's my ironing board, my cutting mat, my little garbage can, I have a little basket here of finished items that don't really, haven't found a place to live yet, but I'm not going to get rid of because I love them. My project tin that doesn't have any projects in it yet. Um, underneath, I just have a vintage sewing machine that I love and I can't get rid of. And a scrap basket for when I'm sewing. I pull that aside and that's where my scraps go. So, <clears throat> coming around, um, when we set up this room, I wanted bookshelves. I wanted some shelving in here because I had baskets and stuff just everywhere. So, my husband's one requirement was that they had to be wooden. And I was like, okay, well, when you start looking for wooden shelves, they're very, very expensive. So, I went on Marketplace and I found wooden shelves. Boy, was that an adventure. <laughs> It took two men and a crane to get them moved and in here, and they were heavy. They're very, very heavy. So um, when we move into the next room, it's going to be, I won't record it because it's going to be a lot of swearing and cussing and <laughs> stuff like that. But it worked out perfect because then my husband was able to put that piece of wood up there, and I was able to put my bolts of fabric up there, which worked out wonderful. Um, and thank goodness I have a wonderful son. He came over and he helped. So on this bookshelf, I have my binders with all my quilt patterns, my cross stitch patterns, my um, knitting patterns. Everything is in um, sleeves and in binders. So I have a cup with my pens, my lotion, my remote, just a cute jar because I like it. I have a little basket here. Sorry about the shakiness. My hand is getting tired. I have a little basket here with all my little floss drops from my floss drop exchanges. This has my little starter thing in it. My beautiful doily from, um, from a viewer from Ukraine. She sent that to me. I just absolutely adore it. And I don't want it anywhere else in the house because I don't want anybody else to touch it and ruin it. So it's in here because it's special to me and I can look at it every day every single day so down on this bottom shelf is where I keep like my hardcover books and my my quilting books and st knitting books and stuff like that my reference books pictures of my grandbabies when they were baby babies a pin cushion from a viewer Her name is Heidi she's from the Netherlands she sent that to me I showed that in one of my in one of my uh, videos I want to see that every day because that's special to me too my clock I have a little basket here. This is just a dollar store box um, with all the cards that you guys send me. Every, all the correspondence that you guys send me goes all in this little box because it just brings me joy when I look at it. Um, I, have, I have some a floss drop here that I keep because I use my floss drops for other things than just floss drops. I use them for line markers. I use them for bookmarks. I use them... I use them for all sorts of things. Um, I, I, I use them for I, because I love looking at them. And I don't want them to just sit in a drawer. I like looking at them. So this is where I use my Molly Ollie bag. And this is all patterns that have been sent to me recently or I've bought recently that need to be processed. They either need to be kitted up, moved into the binders, or moved into the giveaway basket. Um, this is some of the stuff from Candy that I'm waiting on patterns for so that I can get those kitted up and into the, um, 
into the kit basket. So that is that. In here, this is kind of a secretary style desk. In here is where I keep all the glue guns, the iron, the pins, my long rulers that don't really kind of fit anywhere, my long needles, my sewing machine oil, all the stuff that you want handy, but you don't really ever you need it handy because you use it all the time, but you don't want it just sitting out. My hammer, my nails, my glue sticks, all that stuff. So that's what's in there. When you come down here, down here is all my ribbons and buttons and finishing items, my trims. Um, I have take this out gently I have back there you can see my boxes of floss I'm still a bobbin person I tried I tried switching over but after you know 40 years or 30 years of bobbins you, it's hard to switch over um, I have a basket of like I buy I buy the white black and um, ecru in boxes I have some extra Valdini and my fray check floss away bags extra flosses this is where I keep my fancy flosses because I don't have very many of them. So that goes in there. My stickers, all that fun stuff. Over here is my sewing machine. My rulers that I use every day. This is my correspondence basket. My book of days, my stickers, I'm getting ready to get organized for that with my projects. That's going to be another whole video for you guys. This is where I sit and I write out my Christmas cards. And I have my stamps and my stickers and all my fun stuff, all my little gadgets and, and stuff like that. This is where I keep my fancy threads. This is where I keep like my sulky threads, my metlers, my fun quilting threads, all my fancy colors. So in these boxes over here is all my fabrics. I'm, I'm going to eventually make labels for all of them. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to label them. Um, but when you pull them out, you can see like all my red fabrics are in there. All my purples and pinks are in there. Um, down here I just bought these I just bought these anybody else have these because they say you can wear them over your glasses and I haven't figured out how to get them to be comfortable I haven't taken a whole lot of time to figure them out yet but they're not very comfortable um so yeah these boxes I bought on Amazon they're wonderful they have lids some have lids some I use the lids, some I don't use the lids. But I like them because they keep everything nice and neat and tidy. And they fit a ton of fabric in them. So I'm able to keep all my fabric by color in, in the boxes. And it's absolutely wonderful. Um, then it's out of the light. It's away from dust. It doesn't, you know, <coughs> it's free from... All sorts of things um, my packing tape is always out because I'm always packing something this is my bag of project bags because everybody has a bag of bags right we all have a bag of bags whether it be project bags plastic bags paper bags shopping bags Christmas bags birthday bags we all have a bag of bags so that's where I keep my project bags um, so that they're handy So, my baby flannel, I'm going to be doing some baby flannel uh, ba uh, blankets for you guys as a tutorial. They're super fun. They're super easy. You guys are going to love them. I donate them to the hospital. I have a friend who's an OB nurse. All right. So, then I have the closet. And all of you are always wondering where I keep all my thrifted items. I don't have a whole lot of room. So it seems like I buy a lot, but I really, I, I don't. This is the shelf in my closet. This is where I keep the larger items, the picture frames, the baskets, the, you know, all the larger stuff that I buy. 
It's all kind of up there. When that's full, which is really full right now, I stop buying. And, and that's why I needed to organize. I needed to take stock of what I had and what I didn't have and what I need. And okay, what do I just need to get rid of? Because I'm not going to take, I'm not going to use. I'm not going to do a project with. And what can I do for you guys to kind of give, give um, projects and content for? I have more, another bag of bags or several bags of bags because, you know, we all collect tote bags. We have baby clothes and diapers and pull-ups because they are a huge part of my life. <laughs> um, this is where I keep like the extra ornaments for crafting. Some extra project rolls. I keep all my scraps of batting. I don't know if this is coming in clear. Keep all my scraps of batting for finishing. A little bit of fluff. I have a shelf full of my paint, my Mod Podge. I have a finishing boards and um, interfacing that I use. And then down here, there's like four baskets. You can see like four little cube baskets. That is all my dollar store finishing stuff, like my little baskets and the, you can see like the little, <clears throat> the little boxes and the skewer sticks. And we found this at a thrift store. Just all the little stuff that I can finish with. All my little finishing items. All those little gift tags that I stocked up on. All those little picture frames. Those sorts of things. Those are the things that I pull out first and I kind of go through when I want to start finishing a project. This basket here, it might be hard to see in. Oh, it's not going to. It's not going to give a good. This is like all my zippers. There it goes. Zippers, my covered button stuff, um, you know, tacks, <laughs> zipper pulls, that sort of thing. So, okay, let's see if this, sorry about the blur, guys. Okay, so there I have some crossword put or some jigsaw puzzles because we always have a puzzle on a table, some project boards. Down here, there's just some extra large stuff, some packing material, some greenery stuff, um, freezer paper, which I'm going to show you what I use my freezer paper for. I have some mesh for project bags. I'm going to show you what I use all of that stuff for. Um, just some extra Dollar Tree stuff that I um, bought some extras of because it was available and I didn't, didn't know if it was going to be available anymore. Sometimes I buy a bolt of heat and bond. Um, that's the feasible interfacing. I use a lot of that because I do do t-shirt quilts for people and I do do finishing. So I do buy some of this stuff in bulk. Um, so basically that's how my closet is organized. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back around and talk to you guys again. The lighting may be terrible. All right, so here I am. <laughs> there, the lighting's a little bit better now. <laughs> so... So that's my sewing room. That's where the magic happens. That's where, this is where I get things done. I'm trying to get it so I can have at least a decent lighting with no glare. Okay, there we go. Um, so this is where I get things done. It's not a big room. It doesn't need to be a big room. Um, a lot of people have huge, huge studios and good for them. Some people work out of a bedroom. Some people work out of a dining room corner. I worked out of my dining room corner for years when all the kids lived at home. I was just as happy there. I was just as content there. As long as I get to craft, I am I am perfectly happy. Some people just have a corner in the living room with their cross-stitch stuff, their knitting stuff, whatever. Whatever suits you. Some people have more stash. Some people have less stash. It's not a competition. Um, I am very fortunate. My husband does not say a whole lot about um, what I have. Right now I have an abundance. I need to weed it down. It is going to get weeded down. Um, I do not like having this much stuff. I am. Um, I like to be a, min a little bit more of a minimalist. So it is going to get weeded down. Um, so by the time I move over, it is, we're going to have less stuff. It's going to fit into the smaller room. So that is what I have for you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing my craft room clean because it will probably not be clean again until next year, this time, 2022, probably December, 2022, because it will be, I work in it. 
I work in it. I live in it. I work in it. I make messes in it. And um, that's just the way life goes. And I love it. So I am happy to have taken you along for a ride with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, when you're out in the world, um, please be kind, spread love, and find peace.